hello and welcome to soft expert uh, let's create an awesome car dealer website using morphis so if you are targeting a small business related to automobiles garage models gas stations repair of tires and wheels repair of brakes car rentals and so on this video is for you uh, let's have a look at a demo website that we will be creating in this video so that you get an idea and then we will see how we can get this theme and how we can set this up on our domain so this is the website that we will be creating in this video it has couple of home pages available then we have about page the shop pages services and all the required pages that a website need obviously you can keep the pages that you need and you can remove the unwanted pages we also have blog and contact and this is the main hero section this is basically a slider and let's scroll down and then we have this section where you can display about yourself or the website we have services then we have featured products a slider or carousel we have testimonials this section type of vehicles our team section we have this section and a contact form blog and a footer so this is one of the home pages you can explore all these pages and you can keep the one that you need let's visit the home tree just to give you an idea so we have a different slider and a different look okay then we have all other pages but i won't waste your time on this you can just follow the first link in the description it will take you to this page and you can explore this theme now let's see how we can get this theme and then how we can set this up on our domain so as i said just click the first link in the description it will take you to this page and this is the theme name car dealer Warfare theme by dizimix and this is by power boost you can learn more about this theme here on this page and this is a one-time price for the theme you can pay this once and you can use this theme for a lifetime okay so just add it to cart and then go to checkout and here you can pay for this theme using visa mastercard or paypal so let me quickly pay this and then we will see how we can install and set up this theme and once you favor the theme you can just go to your downloads page and you can download this theme so just click on this download button and then click on all files and documentation and you will also need its purchase code so make sure to download both these files once you download them you will get files like these so this is the theme file and this is its purchase code before uploading it make sure to extract it so just right click and then extract all you will get a new folder where we have the theme the sample data plugins and licensing now let's see how we can upload it to our wordpress website so here i'm in the wordpress dashboard now let's see how we can upload the theme so for that we will go to appearance themes click on add new theme upload file and choose file and from that same folder i'll choose the main theme which is installable theme okay we'll open it install now and we got this error the uploaded file exceeds the upload max file size now there are a couple of ways to fix it you can use php.any file you can use htaccess file or you can use your hosting directly to fix this okay so let me log into my hosting and we'll quickly fix this okay i sign into my c panel and i will show you how you can fix this error okay here you can scroll down to find multi php okay and this is the one that we will be using multi php ini editor okay if you can't see it just search for it and you will see it over here just click on it and then you will need to choose your domain so this is the domain i'm using now once you select it this will open up all the options so these are the php directive that you can change and the error that we are getting is due to the upload max file size okay that you see over here now this is just 2mb you can increase and decrease it based on your need i'll make this 64 and we'll apply it you can also change these values based on your need okay now we have applied the settings let's go back and if i refresh it our file has uploaded successfully okay now we can go ahead and activate the main theme and we can create the website but the best practice is to use the child theme so we will go back to themes add a new theme upload and choose file 
and this time we will choose the child theme ok then open it and install now and the main theme is already present so we can go ahead and activate the child theme and once you activate it you will get a notice to install these plugins these are the required plugins for this theme ok so we can just install these plugins by clicking here begin installing plugins and let's select all from bulk action we'll choose install and apply and again there is an error you may get these type of errors if you are using a for hosting okay and which is why i recommend hosting or hosting always but to solve this error just go back and install these plugins one by one okay so i'll just click on install go back and install and in this way i can install all these plugins one by one once you install all plugins you can select all and then choose activate and apply and all plugins were activated successfully let's go back to our dashboard and you will notice a lot more tabs and options this is due to the plugins that we installed okay now we have installed the theme and plugins but still if you visit the website i'll open it in a new tab we have nothing here okay just a blog and a hello world post now let's see how we can get all the demo content and then we can customize it based on our need for that let's go back to the dashboard here you can go to appearance and you will see import demo data just click on it and you will see the theme demo here scroll down and click on import demo and then without selecting these plugins just continue import which will start importing the demo content and this will take some time based on your hosting and internet speed so let's wait for it and import complete and let's see our website so i'll just visit it okay and seems like we got everything so we have all the pages including shop pages and other pages we can fix this menu later on okay and this is the slider everything is working fine and this is the exact same website that i showed you in the demo okay now i will show you quickly that how you can customize it and how we can make this our own so the first thing is to edit any page you can just edit the page with king composer okay now i am on the home page so if i click it this will edit this home page and this is the page builder used on this theme okay and this is the first slider you can edit it from here and this is the slider style okay you can pick this one or this one and then we have slides so the slide name and this is the background image you can click on it and then you can upload your own image to change that image let's close this for now and this is the title okay awesome new car let me show you this on live website okay so you can see awesome new car you can edit that text over here this is a subtitle description if you want to enable button and then we have another slider with this background and so on you can notice it over here so in this way you can make changes to the slider okay i will not go in much detail you can play with styling animations and presets okay then we have this section so an image and again an image and then some title and description which is this section you can add a new section from here as well okay now you can change these images in the text and if you don't need this section you can just remove it this is very simple okay then we have the services which are these featured boxes okay if you want to edit any of them just go here click on edit and then you can change the title you can use another image you can have another description and then save it same goes for the rest of the page as well okay this is very simple so by using king composer you can edit the main pages like home about services contact and so on now if you want to make changes to the header like the logo and also to the footer you can just go back to your dashboard and then go to theme options from here where you will find all the theme settings so this is the layout setting then we have header menu menu typography drop down sticky menu mobile menu and so on so by all these options you can customize the main theme okay let's say you want to change the logo so you can go to logo you can enable it and click on upload to add your own logo here okay you can also go to media library from here you can use any of these existing images but obviously you will have to upload your own images okay 
but I'm just showing you that how you can make changes to a website, okay? And then we have header, top bar left, you can see this option that you see over here, okay? So you can customize it over there. On the right, we have social icons, and instead of social icons, you can add a new menu, contact info, content, or leave it empty, okay? Then the top bar, menu, drop down menu, and so on. So you can go through all these options and you can make changes based on your need. We also have footer here, okay? You can change the number of columns, the grid, the fonts, overlay, overlay opacity and so on. And for the shop, you can make changes to the products, okay? For that you can go back and here you can go to products where we will find some demo products, okay? these are just to show you and you can just remove them and you can add your actual products if you want to sell something on this website and to learn more about the shopping and woocommerce just go to my channel and search for woocommerce okay i have discussed the extra product options as well let me quickly show you and this is my channel and if i search for extra product or something you can see extra option woocommerce woocommerce hacks best plugins and so on okay so I have couple of videos about WooCommerce already. And then you can go to pages where we have couple of pages, okay? From here you can remove unwanted pages and you can keep the pages that you need. Here you can see these are double, so I can select it and also select this one and a sample page. If you want to remove the all and if you want to keep only one home page and remove the rest, you can select them as well. We have this card page. Then go to bulk action, move to trash, apply. And in this way you can remove unwanted pages and you can clean it. And lastly you can go to appearance, menus. And here you can customize this main menu, okay. And these are red because I have deleted these pages, okay. Let's bring this over here. Just to match the demo, okay. You can just drag and drop these elements, okay. You can remove the pages, you can add new pages and so on. Let's save it and let's go to our website. Now I have moved these under this home, okay? Let me refresh it. Now if I go here, I have those home pages. So in this way you can customize the main pages, the slider, the header, menu and so on. You can add your own logo, you can change the colors, you can keep the pages that you need and you can have a complete website. So this was Cardinal Wolf's theme, you can use it for different purposes mentioned here and again the theme link is in the description, you can just click on it and you can buy it for lifetime. And to learn more about Wolf's and WooCommerce just follow my channel and still if there were any questions you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.